you know looking at all these tiny girls i i'm reminded of my school days i'm sure most of you here had some hobbies and some interests that you were really passionate about i did as well but with time most of us got busy you know with with life and uh, some of our passions sort of faded away and we let them um you know my favorite quote by ralph waldo emerson um reminds us that every artist was once an amateur so the amateur who does not give up on her dreams is the only one who has a chance to become an artist and that is exactly what our next mix of six did they persevered our next mix of six includes skilled kathak dancers talented classical singers and even a mind boggling yoga practitioner so let's meet the next six girls of born to shine here are the winning prodigies of this year's born to shine nidhi dogra she is just 14 years old but her yoga practice has won her six world records and countless other medals in a very short span samradhi sen a 7 year old prodigy who believes that indian classical music is the guru of all other genres and she has her medals to prove it lara chunri me daag chupao kaise laga chunri me daag chupao kaise preeti bhattacharjee a singing prodigy who wants to spread the beauty of indian classical music to all corners of the world raghuvar tere rahani hari sato janam se siya ghar mori pardesiya tamanna pokhariya not only is she skilled kathak dancer but she also holds the world record for 30 kathak spins in 1 minute the most by any teenager <laughs> Kanolkar a talented Bharatanatyam dancer who wants to make this art form popular on the world stage Yashita Sharma she has been practicing since the age of 3 to realize her dream to become a world renowned Kathak dancer Congratulations to all the winners. We are proud to be associated with such talent. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed our next generation of artists, our next generation of talent. Our next jury member is also an accomplished performer and a forever student. But most importantly, she wants to make sure that all the children who go to school are also students of music. As a child, Dr. Bindu Subramaniam would well could not have asked for a better teacher than her father the legendary violinist dr l subramaniam writing her first song at the age of 7 she gave her first performance at the age of 12 with the oslo philharmonic orchestra and global soloists in norway since then she has not looked back and has performed on stages all over the world but her love for music goes beyond performing she is also the ceo of sapa or the subramaniam academy of performing arts and apart from online and offline music training sapa also has school programs that are aimed at making music an integral part of every student's curriculum just the way it should be she's also delivered ted talks and writes columns for various newspapers and for her achievements she's won countless awards and her contribution in the field of music is a reminder that it's not just what you get from the arts but also what you give back please put your hands together for dr bindu subramaniam thank you so much for being here a louder applause maybe ladies and gentlemen hello so nice to meet you and i'm we're now going to meet The wonderful girls you just saw can we put our hands together for Nidhi Dogra
sambil disen Preeti Bhattacharji Tamanna Pokharia Swarangini Kanolkar Yoshita Sharma Wow, congratulations to all the winners and now, you know, since we have Dr. Subramaniam with us, we're going to ask her, you know, you've been a child prodigy yourself. Um, what advice would you want to give to these young girls who are just about starting out? It's uh, very kind of you to call me a prodigy. I'm not sure I'd call myself one. Um, I think you were more on point when you called me a lifelong learner, work in progress. As you like. But I just want to say to the incredible amount of talent that's in this room and in this country, that it's really important that you believe in yourself and you believe in the things that you're passionate about. And you should know that over a period of time, those things may change. You don't have to fit into one box for your entire life. And whatever brings you joy, please work hard at it. Please make sure you're getting better at it every single day. You're going to need people who believe in you, and hopefully that's your parents, that's your family, that's your friends. But always believe in yourself. And I'm so grateful to Z and Give India for creating this platform and creating this opportunity for these young women and girls to really find their talent, hone it in. I think mentorship is a tremendously important thing. Uh, and I can't wait to see what these girls achieve in the next Me few neither, years. Me neither, absolutely not. And your advice is not just for the young girls. I think it's good for all of us <laughs> at any age. But I'd really like to invite on stage Mrs. Malti Kalmari now to come on stage and give Dr. Subramaniam a token of gratitude. Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Kalmari. Thank you so much, Dr. Subramaniam.